Hi there, my name is Rich Ross, and I'm going to cut some coral up right now. I don't think this is going to be super exciting, but it's going to be neat. Uh, these three corals are just in the way, and I need to just chop them out and then figure out what to do with that section. Those corals are going to get chopped, and then they're going to be put straight into this system, which was the spawning system, but now it's a holding system, and I figure might as well use it to make my life easier for a couple of weeks. These are softies. Again, I'm going to want them to regrow, so I'm just going to cut them with the trusty ceramic shears. Climb up a ladder. Why hang on the side of your tank? Normally I would remove this auto feeder, but I'm not going anywhere near it. So I'm not actually worried I'm gonna smash into it. So simple cutting uh, softies, pretty easy. You literally just cut them. Ta-da, it's cut. Get it out as quickly as I can, goes in here. Why have it be spitting out I'm unhappy? Alleopathic compounds. Now let's see what this one looks like. I don't want to leave a long piece, but we're going to cut this one a little bit higher. And again, catch it. And ta-da! And that's really it. This piece, that's just going to be thrown away as is this one. This is what happens when you let corals go and things get crazy and grow, 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 grow. Then at some point you have to get rid of them. Look at all this. I mean, it's pretty neat, this big uh, cap, Monty cap, but it's taken over more than half the tank. So a big chunk of that's gonna have to come out too. Should I do that now? Might as well bite the bullet. Let's see. It's gonna be ugly. No, I need a different container. Let me get a different container. These guys. Oh, look, towel, towel. These guys are gonna go down here. There. They can just recover down there. There's some carbon in this water. Uh, so I'm not too worried about allopathic compounds. Okay, now, because this is being done on the fly, I don't have a container ready. I'm gonna go get a container. We have a container. Let's see what happens. See what's going on? It's just overshadowed everything. Uh, it's cool and stuff, but it's not helping. Uh, it is like one mass. I suppose I can just start chopping from the top. question is, do I want any of it? I'm feeling, see the whole thing is moving. So I can't really pop the whole thing out. I'm going to have to piecemeal it. Wow, I've never felt Monty Cap that thick. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I'm not touching it in that anemone, sorry. Calcium reactor bound, I'm thinking. I put the green in there to compete with it. Got to get a piece of blue so I have all three colors. It's funny because Monty Cap is such a fun beginner coral. Everyone's so excited about having it at the beginning. Oh, look, it's actually pushed. You can't see it, but it's pushed this open. It's grown into the space where this cover is. <laughs> and it looks like urchins have eaten the bottom of this, or something has. Oh, there's SPS sticks in here. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why it's so solid. This needs to go here for now. Because that broke off. So, if the phosphate in this tank has been high, 
and that makes corals have brittle skeletons. I'm certainly not seeing it on this coral. This is some of the thickest Monte Cap I've actually ever seen. I'm having to use a good amount of strength to break it. It's like green star polyps. It, oh, it'll be so cute when it takes over a bunch of space. And then it actually takes over a bunch of space. And then there's a mantis shrimp in here, so the mantis will rearrange everything. He lives right down here, in there. And I'm not gonna put my finger there because he's hit me a couple of times when I point to him. That looks probably pretty good. I mean, but if we're going for it, why have this so high to the top, right? Because it's cool, I guess that's why. It's really impressive, actually. Who's ever said that? Impressive Monty Cap. I guess people have. I mean, it's a cool coral. Does it get so out of hand? Okay, let me take a look at it from here. Now that changes a lot. Oh, look, there's a leather coral here. That's still alive, but it's been uh, shaded for however long this has been growing. That's really funny. All right, that's it. And I'm just gonna leave these frags you know, should this come out? We gotta deal with all these Mahanos at some point. Uh, might as well do these guys now. The, the anemones seem to like the clamshell. So I try to lure them over here. Maybe I'll pick up another anemone. That might be a great idea. And then I'm also gonna clip this back, this Pinagorgia. gets a haircut. There you go. That's a bunch of coral, gone. Now I can get coral I want, which will be better. Okay, let's turn on the flow and see what happens though. That might be exciting. That's good. It's blowing around nicely. This, uh, the anemones are definitely gonna get more flow. And uh, this is still 100%. There's some algae on there. I'm not gonna really go after it right now. I'm gonna slide this baby back on because this is the anemone tank. It's the only tank in the lab still that is for pleasure. Um, so these are animals that I like. Uh, everything else has been taken over by the spawning project. We just look at the, the, the results of the Monty Cap uh, cutback. As you can see here, um, you know, if you remember there was a lot of Monty Cap, it was sticking out more than two thirds here you can see there was monty cap all over here actually and here it was sticking out two-thirds of the way into the tank blocking flow and light and you can see here you know all of this is dead you can see how the monty grows right in these different levels and how it grows over these acro skeletons which is pretty cool it helps give it rigidity so i knocked it back i'll probably just leave it like that because it's kind of fun to watch it grow back uh, but i may get in there and just remove this whole thing and start it again from lower uh, but it is pretty fun to have stuff growing at the surface. It's just a neat thing that you don't see that often. So uh, I may leave it, I may not. But uh, when your stuff grows, don't be afraid to chop it back, especially if you don't like it, because it's your tank, it should be what you like. Okay, for in for a penny, in for a pound, I might as well get rid of this orange cap in this tank as well. So this was the, um, this is on wheels because this office is small, the lab is small. So in order to be able to work on these tanks effectively, I have to have everything on wheels like this. So it just rolls out of the way. I know what you're saying. Oh, Rich. Oh, Rich. Protect those wood floors. Nope. These wood floors are, we've been in this house 20 years already. The wood floors are gonna have to be redone anyway. So again, you know, a section like this, okay, this is worth keeping. I can take this to the store. If they pop off in big sheets, I'm pretty pleased. I mean, look down here. Can you see down there? It's all grown on top of, it's like locked the corals together on their stands. So we can stack that right there. The problem is all the little pieces that fall, <laughs> I'm gonna have to deal with at some point in the future. This is better, look, back here, there was all kinds of, uh, that's a cyphastria that had grown on the back, but this Monty Cap has taken over. 
It's a nice orange Monte Camp. I just can't get anybody in, interested in taking it. So these will go back into the calcium reactor. Oh, there's a pepper, uh, peppermint shrimp. Who knew? Um, and this is kind of pretty. There's no reason to break the top whirls. As long as the flow can get around underneath, I'm pretty happy. There we go, that's much better. Oh, look, there's a bunch over here. Oh, good gods. Okay, I'm out of space now, too. This is a big container full of coral. There's actually a piece of the hyacinthus that has fallen here. I need to figure out what to do with it. I'll put it here for now. It's still in good shape, so I'll leave it there. That's pretty good. I have to rearrange those at some point, but not right now. These two need a little bit of care, but I'm not set up for that now. And there's one more thing I think we should do while we're here. Take a look at this bottom tank. This blue zinnia's gotta go. I like it, but if I can remove it right now, I'm going to. I can't, it's on the bottom of that. But this isn't. Sure seems to me someone needs to take this. This is kind of pretty. So we'll put it down there. I might be able to get it to the store and someone at the store will take it. Ooh, there, see, that's a nice piece. That's a uh, California size frags. You want a frag? That's what you get. Big frag. Big frag. Okay, oh look, here's frags. Frags of the Millipora, all down in here. And this is the strawberry shortcake. Now what I need to do is run outside real quick and get a stand for that one and some glue. So I'll be back in one sec. I got a little stand that's been soaking in fresh water and uh, that strawberry shortcake, I want it to come up a little bit, but not totally too high up. So, super glue. Let's see, oh, it's dead. There we go. So I just cut the other end, poked a hole, and now the glue flows. The glue must flow. So that's good, smeared around some. Now it's primed, it's a nice spot. It should very easily allow other glue to stick to it. I'm gonna slide this to where it's supposed to be. Here it is. Okay, there we go. And then this goes right like this. And it should take right away, which it did. Okay, let's uh, deal with the super glue on my phone because uh, that's how much I love reef keeping. So the benefit and the curse of having a long-term successful system is that you get a ton of coral growing. And if you just put corals in because you think they're cool and let's see what they'll do and they're really gregariously growing corals, really aggressive, after a year or two, you got a lot of them and you got to get rid of it and then you go, oh, I'll see if anybody wants some and you ask around and nobody wants any and you feel bad and you don't do anything and you wait another year and then you go, they ask again and nobody wants some and then you end up with a bunch of it and you have to just get rid of it. Otherwise, it's in your way and it's taking up alkalinity and it's taking up calcium and I don't wanna grow this anymore. Uh, I, there's a whole bucket right here that uh, is gonna dry out and go back into the calcium reactor because we recycle because uh, save the planet. That's Rich signing off with his catchphrase of catchphrase.